Hey vlog, so let's make a southern macaroni and cheese and here you go. So first thing you want to do is you're going to get the cheeses of your choice and you want to grate them down really, really good. And after you grate them down, it doesn't matter what cheese you choose. The next step we're going to do is we're going to use our evaporated our milk. I say cheese. Then you're going to get any type of milk that you choose to use whole 1%, 2%. That's on you. And then you're going to season it with paprika. I use Goya, garlic, whatever you choose, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, not too much, but to your pleasing that's my only thing not my pleasing yours and then you're going to move on and you're going to add the shredded cheese that you grated down not the one out the bag that you grated down into the pan put your pan on like a low not too high and let it all melt together and as you do that it will turn into a roux with your like i said evaporated milk cheese milk and there you go after you get all that down, you want to make sure you boil your noodles and clean your noodles off with some cool water. Add some butter if you want to to them, and you want to add them to a pan. You don't have to do a disposable pan. It can be a pan that you have in your cabinet that you love to use. All of this is on your preference now, not mine. I'm doing it the way I like. Do it the way you like. And after you get your pan full of your noodles, you're going to then pour your hot roux into the noodles. This is going to be the cheese that makes it just so delicious and so good and now you don't have to worry about it sticking and being hard because it is melted down with the evaporated milk and regular milk so i'm telling you now stop using that shredded cheese out the bag it's bad for your health and bad for your mac and cheese and if it's not enough roux for you you can pour as much as you like in the more cheesier you want it more roux then you're going to layer it with shredded cheese at the top and you can shred your cheese or you can put shredded cheese on the top just don't use it in the middle no more shredded cheese from the bag in the middle. And I think this is the last time I'm going to use that little bit of shredded cheese that I had in the refrigerator on the top because I didn't feel like shredding anymore. And then you're going to put it in the oven for like 30 minutes, 25 to the max if you want to. If you want it real crispy, give it some time to get it crispy. If you just want it to be melted on the top so therefore the cheeses can combine together, you can do it that way too. So I got these cute little pink plates from the dollar store. And look at here. Look at this macaroni and cheese. It is cheesy. It is good. It is hot. It has a cheese bowl, y'all. So this is what I had for my Easter dinner. I made a roast, like I said. I made the mac and cheese. Had some string beans, some um, hops, Hawaiian sweet rolls. Couldn't even think of what the rolls was called. And let me tell you something. Good sweet tea for the win. And I'm going to tell you now, my dinner was very good. And I just thank y'all for watching. Bye.